Okay, so we left off the last video learning of the characteristics of a monopoly market, which you did have to memorize for the IB exams, and the memory trick in this case was asking yourself what are the conditions opposite to perfect competition. And today, we are going to learn the monopoly diagram. So as with any market power diagram, we start with the axes. You always need to label them x-axis as quantity and the y-axis as cost comma revenue. You also always need a title for your diagrams and you could go with something general like monopoly but because it is important to use real life examples in a paper one I'm going to drop one here. This is going to be the diagram for Microsoft. Microsoft perhaps it is a bit less so now but especially when they first started they had a monopoly because they were the only ones that possessed their level of technology. So we just set up the basics of our diagram. And as with any individual firm's diagram, we're going to add in our ATC and MC curves, making sure our marginal cost curve crosses the minimum of our ATC curve. And we would add our regular AR and MR curves the only thing we would watch out for is that we want our AR curve to be more steep than we would normally draw it. So if our regular AR curve looks like this, we want this. This is because average revenue is price and therefore it's reflective of demand for this good. A steeper curve means the demand is less elastic. And this means people are not going to stop buying this good very easily even if you raise the price. We are going to cover the concept of price elasticity in detail in a separate unit. Now, why would the demand be less elastic? Because in a monopoly, we have highly differentiated products, which means since you can't get something like this cheaper from another firm, you'll likely continue to buy from this firm regardless of an increase in price. Now, to this, we are just going to add our remaining marginal revenue curve, which should be twice as steep as our AR curve. Remember, the marginal revenue has to be lower than the average to drag the average down. And now we have the basic setup for a monopoly diagram, noting that extra steep AR curve due to the second condition, high differentiation of the market. In the next video, we're going to look at where on this diagram a monopoly firm is going to produce. If you'd like to take a guess, leave a comment and I'll let you know if you guessed correctly. And I'll see you guys in the next video.